Is it possible? Is it possible to be authentic and still use the practical business goal setting, target setting thing? So I want to thank um, Eliza for for asking this question and hear my thoughts on this. Um, yes, it is. I set goals also, and yet I am I stay curious and playful about my goals. I think that's a really big thing because I used to be one of those people that oh set goals I got to get you know 100 sales of this product or whatever and I'm going to do whatever I I need to to make that happen and whenever we start getting into this by any means necessary energy it creates I think it creates violence it creates violence within us maybe even externally and so I say let's set goals fine but let's be curious and playful about those goals. Hey, I wonder if I could get there. Well, well, let, let's play. Let's play with it. Let's experiment with what we might do to see if we get close to, to close to it or surpass it. Who knows? So that kind of playful, curious energy is what I do. Secondly, is I set goals based on the trajectory of of whatever that activity has been. So if I have been selling, you know, fifty spots in my monthly courses, let's say, then maybe. Uh, for the past three months, I've been selling 50 per month on average, okay? Then maybe next month, I, I'll say, hey, I'm going to see if I can sell 55 or 60. So it's it's grounded in reality. It's along the trajectory. And I know that if I keep doing what I do and maybe make some improvements, I will make slightly more sales, you know, if trajectory continues. To... But a lot of people, what they do is they, they make completely ungrounded, fantastical goals because... They heard from some law of attraction stuff that, oh, you set really high goals and maybe you'll get there. But what happens with law of attraction, that kind of stuff, is usually you greatly disappoint yourself and you get discouraged and you slow down. And I've seen more people fail thanks to law of attraction than I have seen people succeed. That's just reality of it. I think the problem is that the law of attraction needs to be applied to what I call process goals rather than results goals. Results goals, you stay playful and curious about it and experimental. But the process goal, what is a process goal? A process goal is what am I actually going to do? What is the plan? What is the process when I show up each day to move towards my results goals? But what is the process each day? Am I going to dedicate myself to the process? That is the goal. The goal is every day I focus on my process goals. I'm going to do this from 10 to 11. I'm going to work on this from two to three. I'm going to work on that. And part of the process, this is where law of attraction comes in, is to imagine myself doing those actions with joy and with love and with wisdom and with ease. Now that's, I law of attraction all day long. I law of attraction all day long, but not the way most people do it. I law of attraction, my actions, not my results, my goals. And so, you know, and as another example, uh, earlier this year, I was selling my, uh, my, my course, Joyful Productivity. Now, this is a passion project of mine. It's not something that most people love to buy from me. But so I, I was basically, after the first day of sales, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to reach my, my goal of, let's say, 50. Okay, maybe. So then I said, okay, fine. I'm going to set a goal of just 20 sales. I'll be happy if I get to 20 sales. I played with it, but I still kept showing up every day and joyfully did my marketing and, and did it with passion, love, etc. And guess what? I, I kept thinking the goal was going to be 20. I sold 70 instead. So yet another example why law of attraction doesn't work when it comes to numbers, when it comes to results. By the way, law of attraction works when it comes to relationships. I've seen that. When it comes to health, I've seen that as well. But when it comes to business numbers, law of attraction tends to create distraction, discouragement, and disappointment, and, and slowing down of your actions. So rather than law of attraction, your numbers, law of attraction, your actions, your process goals. So process goals are really about time and energy management. How are you managing your time and energy? That's what you should be more, most concerned about, and your values. And then, and then results... The results goals are more about playfulness and surrender. I'm going to surrender, knowing that you're going to be taken care of anyway. Do you trust that? 
that is, I think, the number one thing that we all need to remind my, remind ourselves is every day. We're going to be taken care of no matter what. I am not a trust fund kid. I don't have savings from my parents. I had to work everything for myself, support myself, my, my own family. I have to support my own family. Now I'm supporting my parents too. So I, I do everything myself. I don't have a trust fund. But I still believe that I'm going to be taken care of because there's a, there's a greater power, higher power, taking care of you and taking care of me that the purpose of life is not to achieve success financially. We may get there, and we, some of us are blessed with that. I think the purpose of life is to enjoy every day and approach it with as much love and wisdom as we can. That's why we're here. We're not here to achieve some external goals. We're here to achieve some internal goals, right? So I hope this is helpful and interesting anyway. And um, yeah, until the next video, Remember to separate your results goals and your process goals. Use law of attraction on your process goals and just play and just be playful and curious about your results goals. That's all. Okay. I hope this helps and I'll see you. I'll see you later. Be well.